This morning we're going to learn how to increment a value of a field or a key. This will come in handy because in some applications we need to set a value to increase when certain items occur. I'll give you an example. Let's suppose you're trading and you're going to add to a trade. So you have, and we'll actually use this example, you have 2,000 shares of something and you're going to actually trade uh, 3,000 more shares. Well, it would be useful to just be able to update it to the 3,000 more shares. And so since we know the value that the person is trading, we can then increment uh, their holdings to that without you know, calling a, a set operation where it equals this plus that. And so increment is very useful to, uh, to save time because we can just increment it by the amount that they pass in. So in this example, what we're going to do is we're going to use a collection in which we have trades. And for the record, if these symbols actually exist on the stock market, these are completely contrived in my head, but they may exist. I don't know. This is, these are not real trades. These are just play trades. So um, I, I guess I have to say this since this could be a legitimate security is that none of this is considered investment advice or is considered real trades or yada, yada, yada. These are all fake. These are just completely contrived and made up for fun. Okay. So if these actually symbols exist on the market, uh, yeah, don't, don't touch them. So what I want to do is I want to update uh, this one right here, this ID with this object ID and the security BCD. And I'm going to update it where I'm going to increment it by 63. I'm going to say the person decided to purchase 63 more of these securities. And so, um, if you'll give us a, a second here, we're going to do trades and we're going to pass in the update command. And then, of course, we're going to go ahead and we're going to specify what we want to update. In this case, we want to update BCD. And then we're going to call our increment operator, which is just inc with our, I'm sorry, inc, dollar sign inc, colon, and then we're going to specify the amount. So in the case of the application, as you would know, this would be this uh, operation, this is would come from where the person would trade in this, this example here, BCD, right? They're going to specify the security, and then of course, the amount is going to be the column. Obviously, if someone is typing in a little text box amount, that's going to be tied to what this is. So none of this would be dynamic. But where you're going to actually see the, the dynamic nature of it would be the 63 is going to come from the outside as well. So you can kind of get a feel for in this statement what's going to be coming from the outside. Obviously, security is going to be set. If you have ever traded at all, you know that you, you kind of have to specify what you want to buy. If you, if you don't believe me, you can always go and actually try to buy a stock without specifying what the stock is. You're gonna, they're going to scream all kinds of errors at you. So what we're going to do here is we're going to update where security BCD and we're going to increase by amount 63. And this is very useful because it doesn't change the existing amount. It adds to the existing amount. So in other words, it's not going to become 63. And you will notice it now is 168 which of course is 63 plus 105. So this is one of those very, very useful, uh, I, in my mind, functions basically that you can use in update, uh, especially if you have an application that of course users may increment. Another example of that is video games as well. There are certain video games that people walk, run around and they have little collections of items and whatnot. And I know that databases sometimes are used in some video games and are not. Uh, keep in mind any video game in which you have like a, um, Gosh, what is, they like have a collection that they're holding all the time and running around and they only have so many items on this. I know that they usually use a lot of like set operations or um, updates when a person, let's say, rolls over um, a, like a sword, for instance. Now they have a pack of swords and it updates it to like three swords or whatnot.